So, you got the new In3D avatar. Here's how you can import it to Character Creator 4. Enter Character Creator. Click the Character tab. Click Load Neutral Base. Once the avatar is created, we click on the avatar to select it and we click Create tab, Morph Slider Editor. In the Menu Slider Editor, we choose Source Morph as Current Morph. And we choose the Target Morph as a file. Now we go to Desktop. CC Avatar and choose the avatar file that we have downloaded. We press the modal OBJ. It automatically chooses Y up, which is correct. And it automatically chooses the checksum file which is in the same folder. Click Adjust Bones to Fit Morph. Auto apply to current character and click OK. Now we can see that the geometry of the person has changed already. Next, we change the texture in the Modify window. Click the Texture tab. It's this checkered square. Here we have a list of textures. Click on the head texture and scroll down to the texture settings. Double click on the current texture. Now choose the all texture you have in the avatar folder you downloaded. We added the texture and now we can recognize the avatar easily. We're not changing the body to achieve this. We're just changing the head and texture. Now we can do everything that you can usually do in Character Creator 4. We can add the beard and we can add the hair. They automatically get retargeted to our model's head. And they look really good. We can change the eyes by simply dragging and dropping and just choose the color you want. Also, we get the blend shapes. If we go to the animation tab, we will see that we can change the facial expression by simply dragging and dropping as well. Or we can choose a full animation and watch our avatar move their face and body. Motion Plus, of course, also works. You can use the animations from there as well. Like this one. Of course, you can change not only the face but the body too. You can use the sliders and the modify window. Choose the type of body and change it easily. But you should take into account the scale of the head compared to the body. The head scale can also be adjusted right here. Now let's finish putting our avatar together by dressing them up into Character Creator for clothing. There is some basic clothing that comes for free, but I suggest you buy some cool clothes from the Reillusion Marketplace. Now our avatar looks really good, but we can see that there is some collision going on between the bottom and the top of our avatar. But it's an easy fix. Go to Modify, Cloth, Layer Settings. Now in the open menu, the shirt needs to be above the pants. Same goes for sneakers. Now let's click Run Collision. Let's choose a cool animation for our avatar. You can get some really cool ones in the Reillusion Marketplace, like Single Ladies from Beyoncé. That's it. Thank you very much for joining us. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.